Hi all, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to do um, jewelry removal. Um, gloves are always handy, of course, especially as in the case with this poor girl, she actually has rigor mortis set in, set in so we're going to have to do a manual removal, which is hard um, to do if you're not accustomed to it. Hey baby girl, so sorry. So as you can see, we've moved mom off the road, we're out the way, and you can see there's a little one inside. Now because mum's already started to go hard, we're actually going to cut down the side of the pouch to be able to get to Bobby without hurting Bob. I know it looks terrible, but mum is dead. And I need a bit of scissors. Hi, little one. Yeah, just getting Bob out. So, hi. It's a little pinky. Okay, Bobby. We're hoping that we're all okay. Because of the rigor, it's making it an awkward, awkward move. Make sure that you keep your hand between Bobby so that there's no chance of injuring the little one. Mummy isn't feeling anything right now because she has passed. So we're going to slide our hand right in. Pushing from the back, we're pushing Bob out. Come on, little one. There we go, out we come. And here we have a little one. This is what we call a pinky, it's a little boy. Okay, now he's quite cold. I know, my love, I know. So we pop him into the pouch. Straight down my shirt where he'll be warm as and we'll get him home, get his body temperature up and we'll take him to a vet to have him checked, okay? So remember, it's important that you make sure that you pull the roux off the road for your own safety. And when you cut mum, um, it's better to cut a pouch open than try to pull Bubby. We don't want to hurt them. They're so fragile. Hope this helps. Remember, it's Joey season. Please stop and check if you can. Thank you.